I'm gonna stay and welcome all you star seeds. This is the unboxing of the Whispers of Lord Ganesha by Angela Hartfield. And I will give the credit to the artwork by Ekaterina. Cannot say the last name, so I'll go ahead and put it up there. I'll slay it for sure. If you're new today, go ahead and check out the contents on my channel. I do energy updates weekly. I share inspiration and sometimes I just go on randomly to reach my hand out to others so love the oh my gosh I knew I was gonna I've had my eye on this deck for a while so I just love the lotus so symbolic right of going through all the muck and the beauty that arises with the lotus very symbolic of any of us on our journey who have gone through things so first one to see has an introduction I'll read I'm not going to take the time to do that so I'm gonna go through every card um, so the contents listed out very nicely in the beginning that's important too with many of the decks that I have they do it this way I did have received one deck that did not have it this way in alphabetical order so it was kind of a nightmare and it's all black and white, no color. Gives you different uh, card layouts in the beginning of the book, like most of them do. So, let's see. I have had my eye on this, and let me get the band off. It's beautiful. That's the back of all of them. So let's go through these cards and then we will draw us a message. And they're new, of course. Beginnings, card number one. Uh oh, I'm doing this at nighttime. I was wondering if I was going to have an issue. All of you that do cards online, you know that matte finish shows up best, especially if you're doing cards at nighttime and you have to have lights on like I do. So let me just move it up, see if we can get any better than that. That's a little better, eh? There we go. Beginnings. Ooh, I love, when I first seen this deck, I loved that it's just one or two words. Because I love doing readings when you're, you only need, you know, simplicity is best sometimes. Two, surrender. Oh, I love this. Three, delight. They're very sticky. Because they're new, of course. Is that okay there? I do love the artwork. Four, reflection. Lots of that lately with all the retrograde energy, with all the, what is it, five planets that are retrograde as of today, the 14th of October. Card number five, energetic movement. Love that. Reminds me of Mars energy. Love it. Six fulfillment. I like that it has numbers on it too. Seven sustenance. Oh, they're really super sticky. Really sticky. The more I shuffle them, the better they'll get. I like the ones that I work with the most when they get broken. That's beautiful. Card number eight, promise of the future. Number nine, concentration. Generosity. 
artwork is super fab. They're a little busier than a lot of the decks that I have, but because I, like I said with you guys, I love the one or two words. A lot of times it just is like powerful. Eleven, embrace, that's precious. Card 12, childlike expression. That's what this is for me too, getting into some joy. These bring me joy. I'm glad to share them with you guys today. Card 13, understanding. That's powerful with just the eye, isn't it? Being all seeing. 14, drive. getting that blue light from. Card number 15, Revelations. Boy, well, we're in that, aren't we? Look at the beautiful purples. That is reflecting my TV all the way in my living room. That's crazy. There we go. And my dog's going to get a drink now. I like the purples in that. 16, Clear Your Energy. Seventeen, inner knowing. Seventeen is a significant number for me. Inner knowing. Eighteen, openness. Doing these late at night. My dog's looking at me like, why aren't you going to bed? Lay down. She's waiting for me to go to bed. Nineteen, spiritual practice. This is where the benefit of matte finish comes in nice when you guys, any of you guys that already do cards, you'll know that even if it's nighttime, you have overhead lights on. Um, you don't get the glare with matte, but that's okay. This is too precious not to be concerned. 20, protection. Twenty-one, determination. That's another Mars fiery. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's a fire. I love to tie in astrology with... I, I, that's how I do my cards, actually. 22, Harmony. We have a new moon coming up in Libra, everybody. Perfect for this Harmony card. 22 is a mastery, learning how to balance. Right? Empowerment, card 23. Mm, solar plexus energy there. Love it. Ooh. Can't wait to play with these more. 24, wholeness. It's heart chakra for sure. Beautiful. 23. Oh, sorry, 25. I don't have my glasses on. Be candid. So if you guys are interested in this deck, I'm sure you will love it as much as I know I'm going to. 27, Enlightenment. Perseverance, 28. The Trumpet Call. Love it. 29, Positive Outlook. love that. It's got the lunation of the luna there, but it's also, it has the, the dark moon, the new moon as well. Positive outlook. Beautiful. 30 priorities. Thirty-one decision.
32, steadfastness. Thirty-three guidance. I associate thirty-three with the master number Yeshua. And as you see, we have like their ascended masters in the Hindu um, belief system. There, it looks like. Love it. Thirty-four capacity to love. Thirty-five personal transformation. Thirty-six healing. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at the peacock. Thirty-seven cultivation. I don't know what the, the rat or the mouse is in Hindu tradition. I'm going to have to look that up because it's in a lot of these images. Let's definitely see what the symbolism is, is of that. 38, nurture. Oh, isn't that precious? 39, acceptance. That's beautiful. Full full belly coming into culmination accepting the fruits I love that Ooh. 40 spiritual quest 41 belonging yep see the rat or whatever the mouse is there again if it's not in the book I'm going to definitely look that up and see what that is symbolic for for their belief system 42 achievement forty three innocence forty four blessings Forty-five prosperity. Forty-six splendor. Forty-seven joy. <laughs> Forty-eight divine support. Forty nine relaxation, fifty. So it's a fifty card deck. Courage. Everybody's asked to have spiritual courage right now. We're going through a lot of shifts and changes in twenty twenty, guys. So be courageous. Again, I'll show you the back of it. It's a beautiful deck. I always bless my decks and every time I use them with the divine white light, I call upon great God creator source, the universe, to fill me up, to allow to be clear communication for a spirit driven message for our souls today. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for going through this walk with me. And so it is. So let's draw a message. bigger deck a little hard to grab if you shuffle I shuffle whatever feels right for whatever time I'm shuffling I don't really have a set way of doing it a lot of times I do shuffle as I am right now because I get a feel they call to me from the bottom of the deck so this one's a little bigger to grab if you shuffle like this They're great. Just a little hella harder, but you get the feel of it anyways. I have many different size decks, and I don't know. You can kind of compare it. This is my Mystical Shaman by Colette Baron Reed. 
It's quite a bit bigger than the traditional, but that's all right. The images are fabulous. So what message is it for our soul today, or anybody that tunes in to play the unboxing of Whispers of Lord Ganesha by Angela Hartfield? Thank you, Spirit. There we go. Be Candid, card 25. It is essential to express your truth, even at the risk of standing out. The situation at hand is asking you to express your thoughts. In the past, you have tried to maintain peace by staying quiet or swallowing your words. Have faith that open and honest communication can bring resolution to the situation. If you are not sure where you stand, ask. Since this card is about communication, it may indicate someone's words have created a moment of clarity. Be willing to communicate your concerns clearly. Remember to open the other, be open to others' views or arguments. Let your emotions flow without trying to block them while looking at decisions and solutions. Ganesha prompts you to be wary of coming across as a rough or uncaring when you communicate your concerns and ideas with others. Before you express yourself, take a deep breath, think of what you're going to say, convey your thoughts in an understandable, brief, and well thought out manner. Teal represents the throat chakra, which represents both speaking and listening. The throat chakra is the gateway for the higher spirit realms. When your throat chakra is activated and balanced, there are there is diminished chance of miscommunication and misunderstandings. God knows I know that well. You are able to express yourself as a spiritual being. You are a good communicator, speaking honestly and from the heart, as well as being a good listener. Quite a description, but I like it. You are able to ask for what you want and need from others. You are able to express yourself individually and creatively, creati create, creatively, creatively. Tongue twister for me. Your relationships are based on truthful communication and true int intimacy. This card invites you to create emotional balance and stability in your life. I thought it was throat chakra. To me, it was a cross between heart chakra, throat chakra, which when we're communicating clearly with other people, although may not be received well, that's the perfect way to be. Lay it all on the table, speak your truth, and many times people think that speaking your truth is being ag aggressive. It's not, not when you're speaking from the heart space. So this is a perfect message today, although this may be played at a later time. We are moving into the new moon in Libra, and it is all about laying it all on the table, clearly communicating, balance, harmony. If two people are willing to come together and communicate, very real, very raw, there are no misunderstandings. So that is our message. Thanks for this little walkthrough. Again, Whispers of Lord Kanesha by Anna Hartfield, and I appreciate you being here. Give it a like if you so choose, and namaste.